Joining us live from outside Westminster there. I, I suppose, first of all, how realistic is it that we will get fast-track trade deals with some of these Commonwealth countries? Well, I think it's very realistic. The Commonwealth is a close family, and what Liz is proposing to do is uh, have this template deal that we can very rapidly roll out across these countries and do deals that will be in their interest and our interest to get trade flowing in both directions. And as you say, it will be a very effective bulwark against China's rather alarming global influence. It's interesting looking at how, indeed, some countries... Uh, the Bahamas, for example, seem to have been almost facing a little bit away from the United Kingdom, from the Commonwealth, thanks to uh, Chinese investment, quite frankly. Uh, is it, isn't it the case that in order to counteract that Chinese investment, what's needed more than just uh, agreements is potentially investment in these countries to make sure they're not peeled away? Well, very, first of all, you're right to flag the fact that China has been splashing money around via its Belt and Road Initiative across the globe. And in fact, it's put many developing countries into massive, massive debt. And the Chinese have done that, I think, quite deliberately in order to create financial dependency on them. Um, I think the trade deals are very important. Of course, Liz Truss has an amazing record of signing trade deals from her time as Trade Secretary. But trade deals don't just facilitate trade back and forward. They also facilitate investment. Um, so it will help there. And of course, we've got a, a very large still 10, roughly £10 billion a year overseas aid budget, which gives us influence around the world um, as well. So, but I, I think you know, trade and investment are going to be the bedrocks of this relation, new, new and improved relationship we want to have with the Commonwealth. And I would also say I think developing countries are increasingly becoming aware of the risk that China poses. And when China invests money or particularly lends money into these countries, there are a lot of strings attached. And you are ultimately uh, potentially entering into a rather dangerous dance with the Chinese dragon and the dragon may end up eating you. And I think uh, a lot of these developing countries who have been stung like this are increasingly becoming aware of the risks to themselves posed by um, these deals that China is trying to push. Mm. Well, let's move on now more widely to this contest. The first official hustings of 12 regional hustings, the first in Leeds tonight. Uh, we can expect potentially a, a less bitter uh, divide between Truss and Sunak than we saw on Monday. That got pretty personal. It got pretty heated. Uh, do you expect that it's going to be more focused on policy this evening? Well, I hope it is going to be more focused on policy. That's good for, I think, the party as well as the country to hear a measured debate. I didn't think it was great on that previous debate on Monday when I think Rishi interrupted and spoke over Liz like 20 times, which wasn't a very good look, uh, frankly. Uh, so I do hope it's a more uh, measured uh, discussion and, and they can discuss their ideas. And I believe strongly that Liz Truss's approach is the right one, keeping taxes low, keeping regulation low, to unleash growth in our economy, which will, of course, then in turn lead to higher tax receipts as well as more jobs and higher wages. So I think that the pro-growth, uh, low-tax approach, low-regulation approach Liz Truss is laying out is really the right, right for the future of our country. And I expect that will come across uh, in the hustings as it has come across in the debates already.